Joshua chapter 13. Now Joshua was old and stricken in years. And the Lord said unto him, Thou art old and stricken in years. <laughs> Definitely with God telling you, you're old. In chapter 24, 29, it's listed as he's 110 years old. And there remaineth yet very much land to be possessed. So it's not all been given. But Joshua's work is done. This is the land that yet remaineth. All the borders of the Philistines. So the Philistines weren't supposed to be there. Do you realize the moment if Israel had obeyed God 100%, the wars with the Philistines of King Saul and King David would never have been. There would never have been a story of Goliath. Had Israel been 100% in Joshua and Judges. And all Gersha. From Sihor, which is before Egypt, even unto the borders of Ekron northward, which is counted to the Canaanite. Five lords of the Philistines. The Gazarites, the Ashadites, the Ashkenites, the Gittites, the Akronites, and the Evites. From south, all the land of the Canaanites. And the Canaanites were supposed to be wiped out. And Mara, that is besides the Sidonians, unto Aphek, to the borders of the Amorites, they were supposed to be wiped out. And the land of the Gibelites, and all Lebanon. All Lebanon toward the sun rising that would be east from Baal Gad under Mount Hermon unto the entering of the Hamath. All the inhabitants of the hill country from Lebanon unto Mes Meher Poimim and all the Sidonians, them will I drive out before the children of Israel. Only divide thou it by lot unto the Israelites for inheritance, as I have commanded thee. And Israel is going to fall short. Now therefore divide this land, where they are right now, for inheritance unto the nine tribes and the half tribe of Manasseh. With whom the Reubenites and the Gadites have received their inheritance, which Moses gave them. Now this is God speaking to Joshua. God has never acknowledged the Reubenites, the Gadites, the half-tribe of Manasseh. That's their land. That's Moses doing. Beyond Jordan eastward, the other side of the Jordan River, even as Moses, the servant of the Lord, gave them. Moses is a sinner. We're all sinners. And the Reubenites, the Gadites, and half-tribe of Manasseh, they're going to be the first tribes that go into captivity. From Aurora... Now this is their land, Reubenites, the Gadites, half tribe of Manasseh, upon the bank of the river Arnon, and the city that's in the midst of the river, all the plain of Medebah unto Devon. Now what we're going to do is we're going to name the cities that belong to the 12 tribes of Israel, starting with the two and a half tribes on the other side. And this is documented Written by the Holy Spirit, though people don't believe it. You are looking at the title deeds from chapter 13 on. Of the 12 tribes of Israel and what their land is. What cities are in their land and the boundary lines. And all the cities of Sihon, King of the Amorites. Which reign in Heshbon and the border of the children of Ammon. And Gilead and the border of the Gershonites and the Machadites. And all Mount Hermon, and all Bashan, unto Salka. All the kingdom of Og in Bashan, which reign in Ashtoreth, that's a city. It's also a city named after the goddess Ashtoreth. And Edrei, who remained of the remainments of the giants. For these did Moses smite and cast them out. Now a lot of these cities we saw earlier here, we just saw it, Baal, somewhere. One of these cities was named Baal something. Baal get in verse 5. That is a city given to Baal. And a lot of these cities, even still today, they have in that city one particular god or goddess they're given to. 
and they would name that city after. When Paul was in Ephesians, they would say, great is the god Diana. That was Diana, the god of the Ephesus city. So Asherah, what city are they given to? The goddess Asherah. Verse 13, nevertheless, the children of Israel exp expelled not the Gershonites, nor the Machazites, but the Gershonites and the Machazites dealt among the Israel on to this day. Well, that's not what you're supposed to do. But we're on the wrong side of the river anyway. Only to the tribe of Levi he gave none inheritance. The sacrifices of the Lord God of Israel made by fire are their inheritance, as he said unto them. So Levi doesn't get an inheritance, but they get the tithes and the offerings, the best of the people. And Moses gave unto the tribe of the children of Reuben inheritance according to their families. All right, here's Reuben. And their coast, coast is a line, boundary, was from Aurora, that's on the bank of the river Arnon, and the city that's in the midst of the river, and all the plain of Medaba. Heshbon and all her cities that are in the plain, Divon and Bathamoth Baal, Beth Baal Meon, there's Baal, and Jehath, Kedamoth, and Methapath, and Jerkathium, and Shibna, and Zira, Sheha, in the Mount of the Valley. You know, when you start reading these names out loud, your tongue starts getting tied, but. I think it's okay. I don't think God's going to strike us down because we can't pronounce the names. Uh, verse 20, I think we were at. And Beth Peor. You remember Beth Peor? That's the city that the Israelites gave into the teaching of Balaam. That angered God in whoredom and in strange flesh. Mixing with Gentiles, as God told him that, there's that land, and there is Beth Peor, the God of Peor, the house of Peor. And that was a God that was given to death. And Ashdod Pesach, and Beth Jeshima. Yeah, my mouth getting tied. And all the cities of the plain, and all the kingdom of Shihon, king of the Amorites, which reigned in Heshbon. Who Moses smoked with the princes of Midian, there's the Midian in Beth Beor, Eva and Rechin and Zer and Her and Reba, which were dukes of Sion, dwelling in the country. Balaam, also the son of Beor, the soothsayer, did the children of Israel slay with the sword among them. That were slain by them. So Balaam comes back. He's well in amongst these people. And he gets killed by Israel. His wages were sin. And he got death. And he dies by the hand of Israel. And the border of the children of Reuben was Jordan. And the border thereof. This was the inheritance of the children of Reuben. After their families. And the cities and the villages thereof. So that's Reuben. 15 down to 23. 24. And Moses gave inheritance in the tribe of Gad. Now we got Gad. Even the children of Gad, according to their families. And their coast was Jezer and all the cities of Gilead. And the half land of children of Naaman unto Aror, which borders Reuben. That's before Ribla. And from Heshbon unto Remeth Mizpah and Betanum, from Mehaim unto the border of Deber. In the valley Beth Aram and Beth Nimra and Sokoth and Zaphram. The rest of the kingdom of Sihon, king of Heshbon, Jordan and his border. Even unto the edge of the Sea of Chinnereth, that's the Sea of Galilee. On the other side, Jordan, eastward. So he got a little bit in the land. But most of his land is on, still on the wrong side. This is the inheritance of the children of Gad after their families, the cities, and their villages. And Moses gave, never God, gave inheritance unto the half-tribe of Manasseh. And this was the possession of the half-tribe of the children of Manasseh by their families. 
And there goes with Manahelm, Manahelm, all Bashan, all the kingdom of Og, the king of Bashan, all the towns of Jer, Jer which are the Bashan three score cities. And have Gideon, Ashtaroth, Edrei, that's the cities mentioned often, cities of the kingdom of Og, there's that guy again, keeps being mentioned, in Bashan, were pertaining to the children of Makar, Makar, the son of Manasseh, even to the one half of the children of Makar by their families. These are the countries which Moses did distribute, this is the first time distribute shows up, for inheritance in the plains of Moab, wrong side, on the other side Jordan, the wrong side, by Jericho eastward. But unto the tribe of Levi, that shows up again, Moses gave not inheritance. The Lord God of Israel was their inheritance, as he said unto I don't know why Levi shows up twice in there, but they don't get a land. But we're on the wrong side of the river. Now, chapter 14, we're on the right side, and we're going to start showing you who gets what and where. And we're going to start off on the right side, and we're not going to look at a tribe of Israel. We're going to look at a particular man, and we'll get to that, Lord willing, next time.